try and do the very basic get all route for customer. How does that work? Well, let's have a look at the code first. If you remember, if we go back to the index page, it actually said, I want to use routers to set up the routes right here. That's, we say slash, meaning that when we hit any route, redirect yourself to the routes file. And if I open the routes one, it says, if you hit the slash, like we just talked about, then guess what? You should just print this back. But if you hit slash customer, you should use the customer file that we provide right here, which is called customer router. Okay, where's that? Well, that's luckily inside our model, customer, customer router JS. Here are all your routes, right? So what we're saying is, we're saying if you hit the slash with nothing in the end of routes of the customer or of the movie, then just hit the get to actually explain that we want to call the find on the controller. Now, we'll dive into the controller next time. I'll just, I just want to run over this. But we'll dive into the controller next time because that's actually where it finds the information in the database. But this is kind of generic, very well built, so we have to explain that later. But this is the get request saying, I just want to pass in my information and I want to find something. This is when I hit the slash, just like I just did with Postman, right? So what if I happen, what will happen when I do the post instead? So if I do the post again, just with a slash and I go in and I add, let me just try and find the one with bill here and I do a send. I actually hit another route and that route is this guy dot post. And again, I sent to something to the controller in the create method. So again, the cross setup, right? So I create something when I hit the post route. Okay. What about the put one? Well, same idea. But when I use the put one, I need to add an ID. So let's just grab an ID here and let's go back up here to do a slash with an ID in the end. And instead of bill, I'll write build two again. I'll remove this. And now I do a put request to a, an a URL with an ID in the end. I do a send and I get a response back that something has modified. How is that the case? Well, I do the route slash with an ID. That's why I'm getting down here. Because now there's actually an ID available. I do a put request and that's why I'm hitting now the update function inside my controller. Again, we'll have to dive into that later. The next one is the get and then the delete. Same idea. Now we just do a get for a single guy using the find ID on the controller. Let's go back to postman. If I change this to a get, I'll just get the single bill out, right? Not anybody else. And the last one is of course the delete that we just tested as well. If we hit the delete one, we want to remove our customer. So let's just click the delete one here for the same ID and the customer is gone. And if I go back and get everybody just to see that the database is now actually empty again, right? So now you know where the routes resides. This is for the customer controller or the customer setup. And of course, there's also a route for the movie setup and they're all directed from the routes JS file. If you hit slash customer, you hit the customer one. If you hit slash movie, you hit the movie one. Right, so that's all I wanted to show you for this lesson. See you in the next one.